Hi guys, right, me and Sean are working on different schedules today because he got up for breakfast and I didn't because I just wasn't feeling it but we had the best wedding ever yesterday so I'm heading to the lunch thing to try and grab something to eat because I'm hungry now Sean is staying at the pool for a bit so yeah, I just fancy some salad or thank you, chips or something Right guys, so I had a bit of a problem on the day the first few nights but every time I come now the chef comes out and tells us what I can have so I've got some rice sweet corn, steamed um, carrot, grilled veg, potato, chips with sauce I've literally just piled up what I fancy so there we go Okay hey guys, dinner tonight is a mix from the buffet. The chef goes round and shows us what I can have and it's the sweetest thing. I also have a little vegan bun and then some vegan halloumi with some um, lovely display of tomatoes and I have a vegan dessert tonight as well. But I love tomatoes with salt so I'm going to pour a little bit of this on it and it's going to be absolutely delightful. And Sean's got a mix of rice and meat and whatever. Is it good? Good stuff. Good morning guys, we are off. To the beach each let's go get a wave they say what they're gonna say have a drink clink found the ride like bye bitches like me it's hard to come back a patrol oh let's go get it on zone oh yes i'm in the zone it's a two three leave a good tip i'm a blow on my money and don't give two shit what the wrong about me? <laughs> okay was that a good tune yeah oh, yeah we're off to the beach i'm not gonna say it again but i used to have a phobia at the beach no i don't I say it every vlog okay, i know i'm getting repetitive I've always been repetitive, but I'm getting very boring in my old age. Oh, oh, aqua zumba zone. Sean, show them your move. The aqua zumba move. Signature. A waddle. <laughs> A waddle toddle. He's probably doing these moves on the balcony like he was feeling it, you know? Got me little case. Sean wants a snorkel. He wants to show, see the fishies. I've gone for a bit of a out there moment with a top, but you know, it's fine. Life's fine. Life's great. Right, snorkel. On the lookout for one. I might get one of these Lilo things, one of these phone things. So I can have a good swim in the sea. <laughs> Grew up. These are really snorkel choices. I'll just get that. Lieutenant. You only just need to say, don't you? I want some goggles. <coughs> Might get some goggles, though. Like. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I like goggles. This is how you fill your water up. Sean is very strategically showing you. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, guys. And then you grab your next bottle. And you just unscrew the lid like that. And you go back. We love to say that Aqua Zumba going on makes the holiday. Woo, woo. All I need is me gran and nan to do Zumba with. So we want to do some water sports. These are the options here. I'd absolutely love to do one of them. But I'm, I wouldn't be able to because if I got left in the middle of the sea, I think I'd have a panic attack. Jet skis, yes, yes, yes. I really want to do them. I'd love to do the parasail and Patron. Doesn't like the sound of that one. So don't think we'll do that. I think we'll probably do jet ski, maybe a paddle boat. But you've seen this option as well. A self-drive speed boat. Blue Lagoon, Sea Caves, Turtle Bay. Like what a dream that would be. I would absolutely love that. But these are the options. So we're just waiting for the rest to come and see what the fancy doing sean's getting some cream it is absolutely boiling guys look you can see the water sport and what's happening all the crack did i see you sean's gonna <laughs> sean's gonna go ugly Right, I don't know if any cases on properly, so Sean's making me goggles and gone quite far out actually. It's a little worrying, but I'm just standing like booby deep waiting for him. So I think later we're going to do some more, I suppose, probably a jet ski and maybe a paddle boat or something like that. We did a jet ski absolutely years ago in Tenerife and 
and it was fun. Um, so we'll probably do that again. I literally cannot see Sean. He's well out. So I'll just chill. The goggles on. I'm sexy. I'm going to have a little peek. Sean said there's no really in. Couldn't say no fish. Just quite far out. What, you could say fish? No, I would. But not yet? Yeah. No. No jellyfish? No. Okay, I'll have a look. Got my hair wet again. <laughs> I forgot about that. I've just watched it yesterday. And if you know, you know. But, and I've got goals on. Gotta do what you gotta do. Will you come in with us and have a bit trim? Oh. Under, right? Are you here anyway? No, I just would rather just <laughs> stay a bit low. Will you swim under with us? Huh? <laughs> Having the smallest wheel. <laughs> We are back at the hotel pool. We weren't allowed to go on the jet skis or any of the water sports because they said it was too choppy. It was quite choppy, like the sea, wasn't it? Yeah. So they said we couldn't go on anything, which I was a little bit disappointed. We might try again, but our plan is tomorrow to go to the water park. Tonight, Jodie was saying we might go to Protaris, where Love Boat was, right. because it's Shannon and last night technically because like they've got the more yeah, so yeah. she was saying that she's going to go there and i said we'd probably go um and then a beer please and then tomorrow we may um go to iron at bar there's been discussions of it but we're not 100 sure what Elizabeth. Elizabeth. guys look at the lizard there was a big lizard looking he was so cute i try to get a footage of him but he's gone if i see him again i'll try and get it um, but yeah, so there was talks of maybe a trip to Ayanapa on Monday night, but I'm not 100% sure if we're going to do that because we're literally 10 minutes away from Ayanapa. I'm going to have to go to the hotel shop and get myself a hair mask because I keep washing my hair. Like, I washed my hair yesterday, but then in the sea, I'm like, I like it. I don't know. I just like the feel of water on my hair, especially in the pool. Like, I, I just can't keep it dry. I like to go under. I've got goggles now, so I'm not one of these people that can just, like, be strict with myself and be like, don't get your hair wet. So what I'm thinking is getting a hair mask, and once I get out of the pool and give it a rinse in that the day, I'll then be able just to put a hair mask on it because it actually it looks like straw. It's proper dried itself out. So I need, like, a good deep hair mask. But yeah, so I'm going to go in the pool. Sean's going to get a beer. I'll have a beverage, you and then I'm going to go in the pool and just chill here. We've had a little day at the beach. There's just literally a beach on the hotel. So we've just been there and it was lovely. But yeah, it's, it's really nice. So I think Protaris tonight, potentially Ayanapa after the water park on Monday. Tuesday, it'll probably be a chill one because it is our last night. But um, on wednesday the day we leave we're actually at the hotel all day because our flight isn't until literally 10 p.m at night so yeah bit shit timings but it is what it is we'll probably just spend most of the day at the hotel and at the pool i just hate it the when it's on the day you leave because you have to check out and i like to have the comfort and space of my hotel room um but there's loads of people here so like if we got desperate if i wanted to have a shower and that i'm sure one of them would let us pop in their room maybe geordie or something so we'll see but that's the updates sean is in the pool i'm gonna join suit and go in hair i can't get over how straw like it's gone it's like actually ridiculous um i'm trying to find where to actually access the pool because it's look at how straw it is pissing us off. Anyway, got the goggles. Sexy goggle girl. That's me. There they are. Oh, I love the pool. Like, I can tolerate the sea for small periods of time, but the pool is just my thing. Like, I love the pool. And it's clear water. There should be no fish in it. So, <laughs> I just feel a bit more at home in the pool than I do with the sea. But I, I, I do like the sea these days. 
Yeah, he's getting custom to it. You okay? Yeah. Your scalp, feel like your scalp's a bit burnt. Yours? Yeah, it's yours. Well, you've got sand on your mouth. I'd be at the beach, you know. Yeah. The beach girl. No, watch, because I'll whack my head off there and die. <laughs> I love goggles, I just wish they didn't make you look so ugly. <sighs> Not sure what angle you've had before because I can't fucking see me phone because of the sun, but oh, that's sexy as fuck. Right, we're we'll doing some swimming, just keep swimming. Just swimming, but then that's gonna be in front. Done. I've rearranged the room a bit. I've put this big chair like facing the window um, because I've got a nightdress on. I'm not gonna lie, like I haven't got knickers on. And if I go out on the balcony, we're facing the pool and everyone will say, but I wanted to like, I've got this like sheer curtain. So yeah, I'm just sitting here. Don't worry, like my knickers bottom is not touching the sofa. I've got a nightdress fully on. Like this isn't just the top, it's a nightdress, but um, yeah, I'm just worried that because the balcony's obviously up, you might say stuff. I don't want that. Anyway, I've come back to the room. I went to the little shop and bought this because my hair is ruined. Um, it was just a hair mask, heat protection, high temperature mask. This is what it looks like. Olive oil and coconut. So I've dolloped this on my hair. It's just soaking in a little clip. I'm going to leave it on for an hour or two. I've come back up to the room. I have to edit something and send it to my manager, Jamie. So it is currently half three. We're aiming to go for an evening meal at six tonight. Me and Sean are going to go for an evening meal in Pretorish. So I'm going to um, sit for an hour, do some work, because I need to send something over at my manager, Jamie. Get that sent over at him. Probably going to put some moisturiser in my face as well, because it's feeling a bit dry. And I have mascara underneath. That's actually from yesterday, because I must have washed all my mascara off, because I didn't put any on the day. So, yeah, disgusting. I just feel a mess. I need to sort myself out. So, I've just come up to have some me time. Sean's still downstairs with his mates and that, just having a few drinks at the bar. Um, But I just needed... You know what? Like, I'm the type of person that, if I'm in the sun too much, like, I just feel drained. Like, I just need some time. So, that's what I've come up to the room to have. My me time. I'm going to have that now. My contacts. I've had my contacts in. I've been in and out of the pool. Had goggles on and everything. And they've gone a little bit blurry. But contacts are bloody expensive. And I don't want to take them out and have to re-put another pair in. And I don't want to wear my glasses tonight. I want to wear my contacts. So I'm trying to readjust them. I haven't even got any eye drops to like revive them. That face mask. Face mask. That hair mask I got has worked wonders on my hair. It doesn't look like straw anymore. So I've just dried it. Ah, you Freaking hell. 
That is a sharp corner to a seed. Right, I've dried it, so I'm going to, I've just popped it in here. I'm going to stick some of my Percy and Reed dry oil in it, and then I'm going to just run the straighteners through it just to style it a little bit. I'm just going to wet down straight today. Um, I've just put some of my Revolution Super Base on my face. I'm not going to do like a full face, not, not here for that today, but I am going to do just a tiny bit to make us feel more alive i started doing like a little makeup routine on i think it was like one of the virgin cruises and i just liked the way it looked so i'm just gonna do that can you look full room oh. it's a bit me look yesterday and it's turned into an actual thing and it's really sore anyway i'm not doing a full face i started doing this little routine i think it was one on the virgin cruises so i'm going in with um yeah. I'm going in with a complexion boosting luminator and primer this is from collection 2000 it's so good it's literally like the charlotte tilbury filter finish um in the elf one but it's collection 2000 so it's actually cheaper again and it's so good so i just pop a bit of that all on my face and i just blend it with my hands to be honest with you um actually i've got my little mirror up here instead of using the camera because the camera is not always accurate but yeah I just like it. I honestly do feel like it evens out my complexion a little bit and just makes us feel a little bit more alive. So I've gone with that. And then, honestly, this is like a few step routine. It's not big at all, but I just like it for holiday. Like, I don't feel like I need full faces on holiday. Ideally, I'd have lashes on, but I don't. So it is what it is. Oh, actually, that reminds us. Where is where's that right so then i'm gonna go in with um what will i do next i'll do concealer this is the elf um hydrating concealer it's a satin finish one personally my preference i'm not in to matte i just stick a little bit under my nose and just on the bits where i get a little bit of redness really once I'm blended out, I do put a tiny bit of powder under my eyes just because I get a terrible crease. This is the compact powder from Body Shop. It's like the refillable one. Um, and I just have it in a light shade. So I'm just going to, under my eyes, pop this. And then I'm going to go in with this. This is the 3-in-1 Canvas Contour Sculpt and Conceal. This is from Technique, I believe they're called. And honestly, you just need, I literally get a few dots. Each side, forehead. Like this. Sometimes I do the nose, but all honesty, I can't be bothered. And then I just go back with a sponge and blend this out as well. Okay, and then I just feel like that gives us a little bit of contour. And then I go in with a Scott to be eyebrow gel. This works obviously better when my eyebrows are maintained by getting them waxed because then I can literally just brush them up like this. Obviously, my eyebrows aren't that overgrown at the minute, so I feel like that literally just works perfect. But when they become a bit overgrown, I do usually have to stick a bit of product in them as well, or else they just look a mess. But yeah. This contact is literally just not contacting. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so eyebrows done, finny. And then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mascara. I've got this nifty little eyelash curler. I got it from the beauty outlet in Royal Keys if you're from Newcastle. But it's so handy for travelling with. And it's actually so good. Um, but, oh, I think I might have just snapped the fucker. Oh, I might have broke it. We'll see. Nah, we're still good. Like, look at that difference. Oops. Ah, you fuck. I've just, you know, and you catch the skin. Oh, it's so painful. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's me not having curled eyelashes for the rest of it because I've literally snapped the fucking thing in half. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. That's the last time we killed eyelashes on this holiday. 
I mean, it did last us a while, to be fair. I've had that for quite a while, so for one ninety nine, I can't complain. I'm just gonna shove a bit of mascara on. And honestly, that's usually like where I would leave it, but I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more tonight. Just cause, well, I would put my lip balm or lipstick on, but I am gonna go with a tiny bit of highlight. This is just my mini travel Becca highlight that I've had for ages. Like it's literally gone, but I'm clinging on to it cause I'm like, you will still work. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose. A little bit everywhere and then I'm gonna go with a little bit of and um, this is just my hula bronzer again it's a mini it's I've had it years I just travel with it because it's so handy to pack I'm just gonna do a little bit of extra bronze but that is us done whoops and I'm gonna do a lip so I'm not quite done because I'm gonna do a lip but like you know I'm kind of done I don't class a lip. Right, I'm gonna go for the bit of this eyeliner. Eyeliner, lip liner. And then a little bit of lipstick. This is B Cosmetics in Jinxed. I've literally had this lipstick for ages. I love the color. That bite on my lip is ridiculously sore. Okay, lips are done. I do have lip gloss somewhere. I think it's in my other bag though because I've been taking it out. So I'll mute the colour down by the tissue trick and then lip gloss. But that's done, you know. I just think it's a little simple makeup. It makes us feel a bit more put together. <sighs> Haven't let me bloody mascara dry, have I? And it's gone... Where we shouldn't go. That is done. I, I honestly can't be asked. Right, I'm gonna straighten the hair, pick an outfit, I'll be good to go. Thank you so much. Thank you. At home, at home in town, there are there, there are twelve odd. Right, guys, we are in. Hippo Campus, which has a full vegan menu. I showed you the menu and I literally died because I got choices. I think Jody mentioned coming here. I didn't realise it was the same place, if it is the same place, but I don't mind coming back because obviously I have choice. Whereas some of the other places it was going to be like we looked at a Mexican um, and it was going to be veg tacos, which is fine, but I just fancied something different. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's absolutely gorgeous inside. So we're going to be having dinner here tonight. We're on Pratara Main Street at the moment and it's absolutely beautiful um we did come here earlier in the week to love but we came quite late on and it's a gorgeous street so after we've had dinner we'll probably just have a walk we've seen another irish bar so we might go there have a walk go in some bars like get some cocktails and just have a nice evening here because it's actually a gorgeous place like if we came back to cyprus i think i'd look at the hotels in walking distance to this because there's so much here obviously the hotel we're at where the wedding was is absolutely stunning um, and there is like a few little bars in walking distance from that hotel but I just feel like this would be more us if it was just a couple holiday wouldn't it? Looks beautiful. Um, yeah, very excited for dinner I am. Yeah, Sean has gone for the bell buns. What's in them? Prawn, not prawns. Prawn. And I have gone for the vegan soup. Now it's a chilled soup which I'm not going to lie. Never had a chilled soup before but it came from a vegan feta. I think this is like a brown bread thing but honestly I just fancied a good soup so hopefully this will do the job. Bon appetit! Is everything okay? Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> right, let's try this cold soup. Chilled soup. Mm. Good flavours. I didn't know if I'd like your cold soup because I feel like it's a very different concept, not something we'd really have at home. But in a hot country, it, it does make quite a bit of sense. But vegan feta. Mm. I'm actually buzzing with this choice. Do you want to taste it? No? Really good. Actually, I'm really nice. Okay. 
mushroom steak from the flat mushroom steak potatoes. Take them to your time in hotel. Yeah, and veg. Looks good. I've gone for the Moving Mountains burger, sweet potato fries, a little bit of shared salad. Hi, this is a place I've been looking like. I think I've whittled down my two favourite buy online looks at weddings. Thank you. It's in Siam, so it's like, oh my god, it's like, oh, I, I can't describe it. I just really love the look of it. But I live too, I want to like go and look at properly. I'm gutted because the uh, wedding evening on but it's Tuesday we don't get back to Wednesday but we'll probably do another one I'm sure our places that have weddings do them monthly so we'll see if there's one in November the, you can yeah you can book in as well and like go and see them it's just nice if they do the events because everyone who they work with goes there like all the different but you could go and look at the venue and I'm sure they'll have brochures a little bit more expensive and you wouldn't do the registry office, you would do everything there. But my god, it's breathtakingly beautiful. It's not like a haul or anything though, it's just so unique. Is it by the sea or in the country? I think it's more country. We've had a nice meal tonight and met up with like everyone who's still in Cyprus. Was it everyone? Yeah. Was at the beginning, yeah. Um, but now we're just having a one down the Taurus Strait because it's actually really pretty. Down here I have a little fake look. I think Sean said maybe get a frozen yogurt or something if we we'll see one. So we're just going to have a bit of a wonder and yeah, head back. I was thinking like, oh, we'll have an early night. It's still half 11, so it's probably like early, early. But we're going to the water park tomorrow and we want to try and be there for 10 for the opening. So, mm. and I think because we've been drinking like so much, obviously on the holiday, the wedding, we're all inclusive. You just get sick of it, don't you? Sick of it, I, I am like nothing, just tastes good. It just, ugh, can't be arsed the night. So we're just both hit a brick wall really with it while I, it's not fancy in it anymore so yeah we're just gonna chill the night tomorrow well if people end up going to iron up on the morrow that'll be a heavy one if they do but i've got a feeling it won't happen i think people might do for again instead um i mean even if they did we didn't fancy it, we won't have to go but we'll just see but if i find anything interesting i'll give you as a deep